Hello, Rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train tutorial. Today, by request, we're going to be building this Amtrak Amfleet coach car in the more modern paint scheme. And we have done an Amfleet before, but this build is a little bit improved over the last time we've done one, mostly on the interior. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, the first step is to take a dark oak stair for the coupler and attach it up. Underneath it, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate. Then, we're going to put a dark oak fence on either side of the coupler here. Coming off the coupler, three polished black stone blocks. Then we're going to put stone brick slabs on the upper hip boxes on either side of that polished black stone. Come underneath it with a dark oak fence gate and we're going to extend our airline up the middle here. Then on this outside edge, upside down stone brick stairs facing outward on each side. Now we'll do our wheels so on the next block down behind this we're going to get a block of netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take polished deep slate stairs and skip to this third block out and put three upside down facing this way. Behind it, double slabs in the middle and a single slab on each side on bottom. Then three upside down stairs facing this way on this end. Then another set of netherite wheels down here with an end rod axle and put stone buttons on the outsides of all the wheels. Then on top of the truck, we'll fill in the top middle three with polished black stone block down to the end of it. Then we're going to come on this third layer up and fill in the middle three of this layer with polished black stone block going from end to end here. Swing around on this side, above these stairs put stone brick blocks. Same thing on this other side. Then we'll take stone brick stairs in front of it on the top and upside down stairs facing outward down to the end of this here. Same thing on this side. Next, we're going to take out a block of stone. We're going to put one on each end, skip a block, and then another one because there's doors on the sides here. Then bring stone down to the end of this on both sides. Then starting on the inside of this gap here, we're going to put blue concrete on each side going from here to the end of it. Then we're going to use our windows to measure the length of our car here. So coming off this blue concrete, two black stained glass panes, and then one blue concrete. Then two more stained glass panes, one blue concrete two more stained glass panes, one blue concrete, two more stained glass panes. So there should be four windows right now and after the fourth window we put two blue concrete to mark the middle of the car. Then we'll do the other side here so we have to do another four windows. So two black stained glass panes one blue concrete, two black stained glass panes, one blue concrete, two stained glass panes, one blue concrete, two more stained glass panes. So we should have four windows on each side right now with a block of two blue concrete marking the middle. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to fill in the middle three of this second layer and third layer with polish black stone blocks and we're going to bring that down till it's aligned with the end of the window section we just made. Now we're going to do our next truck so on the next block down on the rails get netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then, upside down polished deep slate stairs 
three across facing this way on the third block out. Behind it, double slabs in the middle and a single slab on bottom on each side. Then upside down stairs facing this way in this gap here. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to put stone buttons on the outside of each of the wheels on both sides here. Then we're going to fill in the second and third layer above this on the middle three with polished black stone down to the end of this truck here. Then on the second layer, three polished black stone coming off the middle. Then stone brick slabs on the upper hip boxes on either side of it. Then a 3x3 three three of polished black stone above it. Next, take out a dark oak stair for the coupler on this end. Get it stacked up to that second block. Delete the one we used for placement. And we're going to run dark oak fence gate right up the middle here until it meets the wheels. Then we'll put three upside down stone brick stairs here and three stone brick blocks above it. Same thing on this side, so three upside down stairs facing outward, three blocks above it. Then we're going to put a forward facing stair right here, and we got to go change the other side. So we're going to add a forward facing stair right here, and we'll change the block above it to be a stone brick block. So it'll look like that. Then we'll put a block above this one, come over to the other side. So forward facing stair here, a block above it, and we'll come change this other end. We'll add a stair facing forward here and change the block above it to be stone brick. Then in front of this on this top edge, we're going to put upside down stone brick stairs going end to end on both sides of the car. Then on this end here, we're going to put a dark oak fence on either side of this coupler and warp buttons above those fences. Come down to this end and place warp buttons above the fences on this end as well. Then we're going to take out a stone block, start right here, and put a full row of stone blocks under the window layer. We're using stone block to represent the texture on the side of the car. Bring it down to this end, stop two before the end, and put one on the very end. Same pattern over here. And then go ahead and fill in this whole layer on this side with stone down to the other end. Then take out your black stained glass panes and copy your window pattern across from the other side. So everything lines up nicely here. Go ahead and come back through it and put the blue concrete where it needs to be. Then at this end, a blue concrete and then two stained glass. This is a new detail that I missed in the last time we built Amfleets. One side has five windows and the other side has four. Then blue concrete down to these door frames and stone on each of the side tops here. So we should be looking something like this. Come up here and add a stone here and here as well. Go ahead and add another stone block on each of these top corners as well. Then skip over to the blue concrete section. Starting at the end of it, we're going to fill this whole layer with a row of brick blocks. And we're going to take that down to the end of the blue concrete at the other end of the car. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to put a birch door on the middle of the end here, one here, and one here. Come down to the other end so we can add the doors down there. 
So one here, one in the middle of the end, one here. Then we'll surround this door with stone brick blocks and regular stone on the outside top corners. Come back down to this end, surround this door with stone brick blocks as well. Then we come and we're gonna stand on the end of this here. We're gonna crouch and put a birch trap door facing that way and open it. Turn around and do the same thing over here. This will give us the illusion that the door is reaching to the top of the stripe like it does in real life. Do the same thing down here. So we're gonna stand on this end, crouch, put a trap door facing that way and open it. And then same thing over on this other side. Then on the end of the car here, skip one block in, and we're gonna put three blocks of sand on each side here to make this little porch area. Then a door and a sand above it. Then we'll come down and do the same thing over on this end here. So one block in, sand on each side, a door in the middle, another sand above it. Now I don't know what's actually inside of here, so I'm winging it. I'm assuming this end has one last window because of bathrooms. So we're gonna make some tiny bathrooms because we don't have much room at this scale. So we're gonna use our sand blocks and we're gonna make a column of two here and here. Then we'll go ahead and put an end portal in there for the toilet, turn around and place a door on it just like that. Then. We'll put a string above that toilet and sand across the top. Over here, we'll make two columns of three to offset this. Put an end portal for a toilet there, a string above it, sand above that, turn around, and put a door right here. Then I'm just gonna come down here and make sure we can actually fit through this. And we can, so it's good to go. Then we'll come down to this other end here. And right next to the door, on each side, we'll make a two by two of bookshelves to be some shelving. Then we're gonna take out warp stairs for our seats, cause this is a coach car, and put a warp stair on each side, alternating with a block of space coming all the way up the car here. And just keep bringing it forward. At this end, we have two blocks, so we'll go ahead and turn around and put some facing this way just to fill in this end a little better. Then we're gonna run blue carpet right up the middle here. Then we're gonna take out an iron trap door start on one end and put it on the bottom of this brick layer here. This is going to be for like the overhead shelf where you could put your carry-on luggage. And we're going to bring it end to end and do it on both sides. Next, We'll take out an end rod to light the car, and we're going to bring that right up the top middle all the way down to the other end. Then we'll put one on each side of this porch area on top here to light that. And go ahead, come back down and do the same thing over on this end here. So one on each side up here. Then I had to come in here and delete that one I misplaced. And we'll come back outside. We're gonna put three stone blocks across this top middle three, and we're gonna fill that in all the way down to the other end.
on this outside edge of the top, we're going to put three stone stairs facing outward, a deep slate tile stair, skip a block, and another deep slate tile stair. Stone in the middle, and then start bringing stone all the way down to this other end here. So we have the curvature of the roof. We're going to do that same pattern on this end, so three stone on the end, deep slate tile, skip a space, deep slate tile, and stone in the middle. Then we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. On the end of this here, we're going to put an iron trap door in front of the door, then surround the door with a polished black stone wall. Then, on each top corner of the end, we're going to put a redstone torch to be the marker lights. Then we have to come down and do the same thing at the other end. So we'll put an iron trap door in front of that door so there's a walkway. Go ahead and surround the door with a polished black stone wall. And then a redstone torch on each of the top corners. Then we're going to take out a sole torch and put one on the inside of the end of the brick layer. Same thing down here. And then on this side, so one here, and one down here. Now after seeing a clearer picture, I realize these have really unique trucks, so we're going to change this. Delete this slab, put an upside down stair facing that way. Delete that forward stair, and put in a sideways grindstone. We'll do the same thing over here. So delete that, put in a grindstone, delete that slab, upside down stair. Then we'll come do the same thing down here. So go ahead and delete both of those, upside down stair here, grindstone here. And one more corner to go. Delete that, put a grindstone, delete that, upside down stair. Now come on top of the end here, and we're going to make a 4x3 of iron trapdoors. Same thing down at this side, a 4x3. Now we'll come down on bottom, and we'll detail that up here. So we're going to start from this right hand end of the car here. Coming directly under this first single blue concrete. We're going to put a block of chiseled deep slate and then one to the left. Stone buttons on the outside of it. Then we'll put two polished black stone slabs underneath it. Then skip forward by one, three blast furnaces. Then we need to get three polished black stone slabs underneath the blast furnaces and going in by one. Then we'll skip forward by two. Go ahead and put a row of four polished black stone walls. Then we're going to move over again and align with this second single blue concrete. Three chisel deep slate with slabs underneath it and buttons across it. Then we're going to have to work on this other side here. So we'll go ahead and swing around to the other side and we're going to align with where it is across there and we're going to go ahead and put three chisel deep slate stone buttons on it polished black stone slabs under it next we'll leave a gap of three and we'll put four polished black stone walls here then we'll align with that section that we can see across on the other side. But on this side, we're going to put three smokers. And then we need to get two rows of three polished black stone slabs. Then skip a block, two chisel deep slate, slabs underneath it, and two stone buttons on the outside of that. Then under here, we're going to put two grindstones in the middle. 
And there we have it folks. We've completed our updated build for a modern amp fleet car. And you're going to want to copy or build a few of these into your train. However many you want. I'll probably put two or three on mine. And stay tuned for more because we are going to be adding some view liners to this train. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.